How's it going, guys? Welcome back to some more Mountain Blade 2 a Battle Lord. And today we are diving in and taking a look at a brand new armor mod that has just gone ahead and arrived over on Nexus Mods. I'll leave a link to it down below in the description. Super easy to install, so you guys shouldn't have any trouble whatsoever. You do have to go ahead and enable the cheat menu, though, and I'll put up on your screen now how to do it so that you'll be able to actually go ahead and grab these off of the item store right here on the left hand side, as I don't believe they will be turning up in any of the shops. I think you might also be able to craft this armor as well. Uh, there's no specific kind of materials needed, but these might also arrive on them. It would be kind of cool if a modder did go ahead and tie that in, but you'd actually have to get some really late game materials to craft this stuff would be super cool. But yes, this is an Elden Ring armor pack. It has something along the lines of 20 different sets of armor, as well as 20 weapons, two shields, two horses, and I believe some additional armors on top of that, which necessarily aren't part of a set. So we will go ahead and take a look at these in battle but i wanted to go ahead and show off some of the incredible armor again they do look way better actually in battle for example the uh, the commander standard i currently have on is getting a little bit tied up on my weapons and everything else i currently have however this will be uh this will be kind of fixed actually in battle so you don't worry when the cloth physics is actually enabled but right now i have one of the the many armor pieces on and this is the clear rot set as you guys can see the detail is absolutely incredible i also have a winged scythe on my back and let me tell you this weapon tears through enemies like nobody's business also the standard is an amazing weapon because it is a standard with a massive blade on and we also have a shield on our back as well looking very very cool we also have custom horses as well so if you want to go ahead and vibe in the way that the uh, the horses are in Elden Ring you definitely can do that they look really really good you actually don't need a saddle on them as well they do come a bit separate um, and they're, they're deadly tier six horse charge attack is amazing they'll be running down people like nobody's business but you can just see the detail and love in these armors I am in some absolutely insane armor and these looters are going to run towards me uh, not really expecting what they've got. So yeah, I've got this commanded standard on right now and then I also have this great sword which I can't actually utilize right now. But let's just see how... Yep, that weapon is pretty goddamn OP. Okay, so I was uh, kind of hoping that that battle wouldn't be over so quickly so I could show off a bit more of the equipment. So here is the clear rot armor set right here looking absolutely glorious. You even have a bit of kind of the extra uh, bits around the armor but the helmet looks awesome and then we're also using a few of the weapons as well so we are equipped with one of these spears these can be used in a, both of the swinging manners and as i mentioned there are several types of uh, of weapon that can all be utilized right here so let's just see if these are any stronger uh, than the uh, previous weapons so first off let's go ahead and check the spear out yeah these are pretty goddamn strong again these are supposed to be used as like super high tier weapons Oh, this one seemingly isn't doing as much damage. What about kind of stabbing? I imagine this is a bit more of a, a stabby weapon. Yeah, no, actually, this staff doesn't seem like it does do as much damage, I guess, because it probably doesn't have as much swing. How about stabbing? Yeah, stabbing not either. Okay. There is also this armor piece as well. As I said, I'm not going to be able to cover every single armor piece because there are just so many. I'm sure you guys want to look at some of the, uh, the better ones. We also have this one as well. This is going to be the Banished Knight armor set. I've also equipped him with a glorious looking great sword. I mean, just look at this bad boy marching towards you. I, I would, I guess, say that this is one of the, uh, the less like out there armor pieces because the next armor piece we're going to look at looks absolutely insane. And if you saw that walk towards you i think you would quickly turn the other way this great sword bow can be equipped in both uh one-handed and two-handed variants so you can go ahead and swing this like an absolute madman like guts or you can go with a two-handed variant as well and this will just cut through anything that you come in against and here it is i mean just look how insane this is you can barely see what's even going on but i think i've actually mixed and matched a few armor pieces i haven't actually uh, completed elden ring i know my bad uh but yeah these are some crucible tree armor as well as just normal crucible armors and again they look absolutely insane i've also gone ahead and equipped this uh, guy with a i think a fairly fitting spear i mean yeah it's insane and we, we probably take no damage yet nobody is a match i mean this is like a level one dude turning up to a an end game boss right now uh, but yeah the armor looks absolutely awesome i mean just rocking up to a siege battle with this would be insane uh, again you even have the, the lizard tail as well the wings look great if only you could could take flight that would be insane but again looking very good and then yeah we also have one of the uh, spear weapons as well right here again looking awesome a few of the other armors i definitely want to show off uh, 
uh, in a little bit more of a, I guess, a quick manner is the Drake Knight armor. I mean, this looks awesome. I love that cape. That cape fluttering in the winds would be great. And we also have this dragon halberd as well. Insane damage on it. Then we also have the Godric knightly armor again. This is actually pretty fitting, I would say. You can definitely see this besides the helmet as an armor piece for Volandia. Looks really, really good. Next, we have the Huslo armor again. Just look at this. Imagine rocking up to any battlefield with this bad boy right there in front of you. It looks insane. Oh, my God. We also have a, a royal horse as well right here. Again, you can look, take a look at this. I'm not sure if actually the armor of a horse value actually goes over it. What happens when you do that? Oh, yeah, you can actually armor up the horses as well. Oh, that is so goddamn cool. Really nice armor right there, especially if you stick it with the Imperial Cataphract half barding. That looks amazing. And this is probably the last armor piece I want to show off because I mean, my God, look at it. It looks absolutely insane. Again, it doesn't help that I, am, I do have a male character right now. It'd probably go a lot better with the female style. But I love the way that the modder has created the wings with the actual cloth physics of Bannerlord. They look great. And it's actually really impressive the way he has gone about it. We also, of course, have our weapon as well. Unfortunately, no way to zoom around the, uh, the map and to slaughter people. But I'm sure she's going to absolutely tear these guys apart. Uh, okay, yeah, no, that weapon is still as strong. There are definitely some stronger weapons in the, uh, in the mod. Uh, but yeah, these are definitely... Uh, definitely, definitely one of them. Yeah, look at that. So once again, this is the Melania armor right here. Looks awesome. Really impressive with the, uh, the whole wings. The model has done a great job with these. And yeah, that's just kind of like the tip of the iceberg with the armors. As I said, there's 20 different sets, so you can really dive in and mess around with this. These armors would work with a mod like My Little Warband as well. So if you wanted to go ahead and show off, you know, kind of create your own uh, Elden Ring style armies, you can do. And here's a look at some of the armors that I do have uh, currently on the right hand side with some of the armors um, and also weapons equipped here. There's like two shields, 20 different weapons, tons of different armors that you can just kind of look around. We've actually already looked at that one. Um, uh, yeah, and there's, bunch, there's a bunch of like really cool armor sets that you can mess around with, add, and you can even mix and match them as well. If you want to go ahead and equip equipped like random weapons you can definitely do that and each one will go ahead and kind of give you a nice unique look to your army definitely as well an honorable mention as well to the royal knight set it looks awesome i mean i just love the way uh yeah it just looks really impressive and you got the uh, the kind of uh elden ring uh over exaggerated armor pieces as well it's quite funny to dive into like banner lord or something along those lines and really just mess around with this with all the different types of weapons for sure if anyone does create their own my little warband be sure to let me know because I'd be interested in, in kind of test riding your your creations. So be sure to go ahead and, and send me the XML file over on Discord. But yes, definitely go out and uh, subscribe to this. This is a really awesome mod. I highly recommend you guys check it out and have some fun with it. And uh, be sure to go and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's say if this video gets 500 likes, I'll create my very own My Little Warband and see how, how much we can do on a campaign map. So basically create my very own Elden Ring army and take it out for a spin and see how we fare. But be sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below. If, if there are any armors uh, that you guys really do want to go ahead and see, let me know in the comments uh, and I'll be sure to dive in and take a look at them. And I'll see you guys in the next one.